Alright, uh, Chef Andrew here to teach you how to make another mother sauce. Uh, this one we're going to do is a bechamel. So the basic ingredients for that are going to be half a cup of white diced onions and two cloves of garlic minced, one cup of heavy cream or milk, half a cup of Parmigiano cheese and flour for Sanger. Uh, I'll explain that when we, when we get to that. Uh, you'll heat up your oil in your pan just like any other dish. All right. Once the oil is nice and hot, we're going to go ahead and add in our onions. Again, we're doing a saute, uh, sorry, a sweat, not a saute, no brown. We're just doing a quick saute sweat on them. We're not going to do a translucent. I'm going to add in about three more tablespoons of oil. All right. And then I'm going to sange or sange basically means just like hop or jump. So we're just going to kind of toss some flour in over this. We're basically making a roux, but we're, we're doing a, a, a sangé technique where we do it before we add in the liquid, but after we've seared or sautéed our meat or vegetables or whatever else we're doing in the pan. Um, again, but we're just doing a bechamel sauce, so we need a white roux. So I don't want to overcook it, but I also want to make sure that we have enough roux in here to thicken our cup of cream. Along with, along with the onions and the garlic, I went ahead and already added my salt and pepper. I'm going to trade out a rubber scraper for a whisk at this point. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly add in the cream. But I need a whisk in order to make sure that the, the roux gets incorporated completely. About halfway... I'm going to stop and make sure the roux gets incorporated, but I'm also going to turn down the heat till a medium low because I don't want to burn. And once the roux has kind of been incorporated, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and add the rest of the cream. And again, I'm just going to mix. I'm going to make sure that roux gets completely incorporated into the milk or the cream. You gotta make sure you get in the corners. Okay. As you can tell, the cream's already kind of coming together. It's a nice, thick sauce now. At this point, I'm gonna turn down the heat, or turn off the heat, rather. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and add in about, I'm going to say a half a cup more cream just to finish it because uh, it's going to set for a little bit and I want to make sure that, that I have enough liquid in here so it doesn't thicken too fast or too much while it sits. Because the longer it sits, the more the cream will thicken. Now, a lot of techniques will have you strain this and take out all the onions and all the big chunks of seasoning, things like that. I love onion, uh, so I'm going to leave it in here because I'm going to turn this bechamel sauce into like a mini Alfredo uh, beurre blanc. 
all right? Just without the one. So I'm gonna add in my cheese, about half of it. Give that a good stir. And again, I have this extra cream just in case this begins thickening because the thickening power is also based on the humidity and how dry your flour was, things like that. So it's looking a little good. You know what, I think I'm gonna add a little more cream in here. And then finish off the rest of the cheese. And I'm gonna finish it with black pepper. So now, I've turned the beurre blanc, or sorry, the bechamel sauce into a beurre blanc uh, semi-alfredo sauce. It's gonna need a little more salt. The garlic is good, the onions is good. And then what we're looking for is we're looking for a nappe. Nappe means that it can coat the back of a spoon and leave a trail when you run your finger through it. Okay. So now, that's what I've got, all right? And I want a touch more salt, not too much, because I'm actually gonna be using a smoked salmon for this. And there we have it, a semi-alfredo beurre blanc.